Okay, here we have a W360 by a 45 beam uh, that has allowable normal stress of 150 megapascals and allowable shear stress of 85 megapascals. And what we want to do is determine the maximum force P that can be applied here. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically figure out what the maximum um, moment, maximum shear, draw my shear and bending moment diagrams, which are pretty simple here. So I have basically P over 2 and negative P over 2 for my shear. And then my moment start at 0, raise up to P, and then back down to 0. So my maximum moment is P, my maximum shear is P over 2. Once I know those, then I go look up what this beam exactly is. And from the appendix, I can see that the um, section modulus is um, uh, 0.688 times 10 to the negative 3 meters cubed. And the depth is 352 millimeters. And the thickness of the web is um, 6.86 millimeters. And we'll talk about how we use all these first. The first thing I need to do, again, is... Make sure that it doesn't fail in, or design it so that it doesn't fail in, um, in the bending moment. So we use our equation here uh, with the section modulus, okay? Knowing that m max is p, found that over here with my moment diagram. S we looked up in the table, and again, um, the allowable stress is 150 megapascals, so that's given. From that, I can determine that the um, maximum force is 103 kilonewtons. Now having that, we want to make sure it does not fail in shear. So uh, if that is my load, my maximum shear is half of that, which is uh, 51,600 newtons. Again, we get that from P over 2 in the shear. Plugging that into um, the idea that the maximum shear stress in a wide flange beam is the web. Okay, so I just take the that maximum shear force and divide it by the area of the web, which again is the thickness of the web times the depth of the web, which we looked up in that table. From that, we see that the maximum shear stress is about 21.4 megapascals, which is less than 85 megapascals. So designing it for the moment, um, the maximum P is 103 kilonewtons, and it will not fail in shear.